Hello everyone, Matthew Yu here. In today's video, we are going to talk about AWS reInvent 2022 tips and tricks. My assumption is you are in person general attendee and you want to get the most value out of reInvent. I also assume you have already know the basics such as date, location, and book your conference pass. This video will have three sections, before, during, and after the conference and event. I put the content on the left side of the screen to help you to navigate. All of those are based on my personal experience. Let's get started. Before the event, number one, session planning and reservation. This is the number one most important tip that will greatly change your reinvent experience. Every one minute you spend on the reservation and planning will save you at least 10 minutes during the actual conference. My colleague went to the reInvent and he told me that because he didn't make any reservation, he has to wait in every working line and then he ended up staying in the hotel watching the online streaming. Well, if you make the reservation, you can walk right through the reservation line and take your time, pick a seat and wait for the event to get started. Let's talk a little bit more here. There are three stages for the reservation. Number one, AWS will keep adding new sessions into the catalog. Number two, they will announce all of the sessions has been posted. And number three, the reservation starts. So the action right now is to wait for the phase two where they announce all the full session catalog is ready. So we can then plan the time accordingly. So during the planning, what you need to do is to add the sessions into your favorite by starting it. On the website, there is also a calendar tool to help you easily visualize what session has the time conflict with each other. My suggestion is to first pick all of the sessions that you like and decide which ones you are going to take as a high priority. Some sessions will be gone after the seconds right after reservations happens. So you will want to write down which ones you are going to hit the reservation button first and which ones will be as a backup and improvise when the re reservation starts. Last year, the date was October 19th. And if the session is full, it will show a join wishlist button. Just move on. I never seen I've been caught from the wishlist. Tip number two, what are the most valuable sessions? First, I assume that the session you selected are highly relevant and most interest you. That is definitely the key fundamental. Then I will use event type to decide. And here is my decision formula. Hands-on session, more than discussion session, more than recorded session, more than keynotes. Let's talk about each. Hands-on session, that means workshop, jam, and lab. Those you can get usually a sandbox account and follow the workshop steps and the discussions. There are also solutions architects working around and will be answering any questions that you have or you run into. In the jam event, you work as a group and they also launch a sandbox. You can use that to resolve some actual questions and get a score. And they also have exclusive swags. None of the sessions are being recorded. And that is why I think hands-on session discussion experience will give you the most value. Then the number two is a discussion session. It usually means chalk talk. There are fewer people to talk on a specific topics and you have a more interactions than the other types to session. And this session is also not recorded. The so number three are the regular speaker sessions or leadership forum. And most likely it is presenters prepare a presentation and share the information with you, but it is usually a one way. I do encourage you to raise your hand and ask questions and also have a good discussion with the presenter after the session finished. I never fail to get some new insights by talking to them and please aware those sessions are being recorded and you can always view them from YouTube or from their streaming platform afterwards. The last is Keynote. 
Those events will be live streamed and broadcasted online. And throughout the conference centers, there will be some mini theaters throughout, and you can also view from there. Of course, if you want to see those AWS leadership team in person, this is definitely a great experience. And I do suggest you to come very early to line up before they let you in. One thing to note, no other sessions can be hosted during the keynote and the expo hall are not opened until the keynote finish. I do suggest you to sit in the hotel and have some breakfast and to view this event online to save energy for the later sessions. Tip number three, another session planning factor is a beware of the locations. First, the event catalog will also tell you the locations and most of them in invitation and there are also a lot that in the forum, MGM, area, and other conference halls. So two things to note. Number one, please wear comfortable shoes. From Venetian to the forums, you have to walk about 15 minutes because the shuttle will actually make you to walk all the way to the entrance to take that. So you'll end up walking a longer distance. And the second thing here, because the shuttle even come every 15 minutes, but the actual shuttle entrance and the actual conference center, there are some distance, so plan ahead. And by the way, all of the hotel do have the slight different lunch boxes and snacks. Try them out if you want. Tip number four, when the reservation starts, there are a couple of rules you want to know in advance. Number one, if you reserve a session, then you reserve another session that has a time conflict and overlap, the system will reject your new reservation. Number two, if you reserve a session and you reserve another session immediately before or after the session, for example, session A ends at 11 a.m. and session B starts at 11 a.m., the system will allow to book only if session A and B are in the same conference center regardless of the flooring. Number three, if session A and B are in different conference center, the system will only allow you to reserve the second when there is a gap of minimum 30 minutes. That is why we want to take the location into the consideration. The last thing is you have back-to-back -back sessions I think around before 10 to 15 minutes before the session starts, they will start to allow the walking people to come in. So if the room end up full and you arrive late, even you have reserved status, you are not allowed to get in. So you might have to leave a little early and leave enough time, especially you are in from a different hotel and you will need to find the other room. So take that into consideration too. The next tip is to download AWS event app. And I will put the link in the description below. I cannot recommend enough. The most useful feature that I use is a calendar. It helps me visualize my event and I can also use this to look up my conference room number. It will save you a lot of time and effort. So remember to download and to log in in advance. Tip number six is about food and restaurant reservation. So if you want to enjoy some local food, now it is the time to check some recommendations and to book the reservations either on opentable.com or the restaurant official website. And if you are not sure about the time or date yet, usually you can go Sunday and Tuesday. The reason is on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night, you will see some vendor networking sessions. I know Red Hat always hosts some very awesome night parties and you can use your badge to get in. You might also have other company events, customer appreciation events, or some other interesting and handsome sessions at night. On Thursday night, there's also an AWS replay event. And if you are not a party person, it could be also some time to enjoy some personal time and to eat at some restaurant. And Sunday night is always the best because not everyone has a flight to here yet. The next tip is about flu shots or booster shots. 
depending on your preference, you can get that in advance. I want to share a story that in 2019, three out of 10 people from my team got sick because of flu or other reasons, that including me. After reinvent, I was down for like one week. And I remember I did have flu shot at that moment. So you can see all of the different variants will come and gather together in Las Vegas. And this is how many people that you can see in 2019. This year, there is no mask mandate and vaccination mandate. So depending on your comfortable level, you can choose to bring the face mask and also take the vaccinations in advance, just in case. All right, that is everything about before the event. Now, let's talk about during the events. Tip number eight, Expo. That is one of the best things happening on Earth, where you can see a lot of cool things, like deep research, builder event, ask the expert sessions. You can also talk to those vendors and see their latest service offerings. My first tip there is to know your batch. That batch is an actual RFID, so the vendor, they can scan you with their special device and to get all the information that is stored and to send to their account. That being said, if you have a very nice conversation with some of the vendor's engineers, please, please ask them to scan your ID so you guys can keep in touch and you do not need a business card anymore. On the country, if you are not interested in their services or product, it is also fine to reject them from scanning. Tip number nine, let's talk about the second best thing that is swag. Right, most of the vendors will give you a swag if you scan your badge. So it is your choice. Do you want to treat your information with their swags? So think, do you want a Databricks Lake House hat? Do you want a AWS service team toy? Do you want a GitLab screen cleaner and hand sanitizer or even a Qualcomm notebook pad? Your choice, your call. There are a few swag that I do suggest you come in and get it early, which are anything that come with size. For example, this is the AWS default hoodie, which you will see they always run out medium size first. And then it is the AWS Deep Racer hoodie, which is also run out my size as well. And anything that are the t-shirt that may be coming with the sizes. So don't wait for the last day because your particular size might run out. Of course, the vendors also realize that. That is why they start to give you more about socks each year. Why? Because it is one size fit for all. The second is if you have any AWS certifications, check in at the Venetian Expo entrance and they also have special swags for you. And last year, what they have is a very nice bag and they have AWS certified on the front of the bag. Of course, if you come in late, they will also run out. All right, move on to the next tip. It's about note taking app. During the sessions, Usually, the speakers will use the big giant screen to display their PowerPoint slides. So the easiest way to take the notes is your phone camera to take the picture. I personally recommend OneNote note-taking note app because there is one module and feature where it can ultimately change the slides and to corp that into a flat paper. And you don't need to spend the time to corp out those unnecessary parts. And it also supports multiple pages, so you can export multiple pictures and on the same OneNote page. This will increase your note-taking efficiency. The next tip is about breakfast. First, I do not suggest you to use the Starbucks and other coffee shops near the entrance. Let's show you some pictures. This is the line near the Venetian security checkpoint. And here is another line near the Venetian Hotel Suite Elevator. The average waiting time is more than 20 minutes, and both of them do not support online mobile order in advance. My suggestion is to either have the breakfast inside your hotel, and also there are snacks 
inside of the conference center throughout the day. So you can plan ahead and use your time more efficiently. All right, now let's move on to after the events. The tip number one is you really like some of the sessions or game day or even workshop, you can definitely get in touch with your account managers or your solutions architect. Don't feel bad if you miss on any of the workshop. There is really nothing that is just a one-time event. Get in touch with them and they will be super helpful to get you in touch with that presenter and also can even host an exclusive session in your organization. The next tip is again, all of the speaker sessions are recorded. So go ahead and check their official YouTube accounts and you can find those specific sessions by either search for the name or search for the session code. And if you haven't noticed, YouTube never display any ads for those AWS official videos. And the best thing is you can speed up and use closed captions to search and go straight to the content that you need. Last but not least, if you have any good session notes, remember to share that with the community. Either it is on the YouTube, on the LinkedIn, or even within your company. Knowledge and experience are the most valuable asset in my organization, and I would love those knowledge and insights being spread out and carried over inside organization and in the tech community. And I also posted my last year's meeting notes in the link description below on LinkedIn, so feel free to check out. And I highly encourage you to do this as well. That is all tips for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And I hope you have a great reinvent experience and get the most value out of it. I will see you there. Have a nice day.